back to my channel. So for today, I'll okay. be joined by my sister. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh gosh, guys, um, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Honey, and I'm with my sister. And hey, guys, she's fun, and it's not her first time on, on my channel. So please go follow her on Instagram. Check out videos that I've done with her. I'll link them down below. I've done a video with her before, so um, stay tuned. Uh, or watch those videos and so for today's video um basically if you haven't watched my previous video that means you're not subscribed yet so please subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell notification so you get notified every time i post a new video i post Gang, new videos every, every wednesday, wednesday. <laughs> so today my sister i'll be having my sister interviewing me um, if you haven't seen my last video, I did a video on how I lost my hearing or how I became hard of hearing. So, um, I'll explain the terms also in another video. But today's video, um, she's just basically going to interview me, basically. Just ask me a few questions. Yeah, I have so, a few questions here. So, I'm just going to ask her and she And then I'll answer. Yes. So, question number one. What are the advantages of being hard of hearing? <laughs> uh, advantages? Yes. Like, do you get special treatment? Do you... Such things, man. Okay, I, I, I did once get special treatment. Um... For UNAM, when I was registering at UNAM, um, UNAM has a, a disability unit, so I registered through them, and they kind of helped me get into the hostel, made registration a little bit faster for me, so that's the advantage I got mm -hmm. once. Oh, yes, the other oh, advantage, like privileges because of the yeah, that's the privilege that I got, but another advantage that I get is that if I don't want to hear you, I just, I can just change. Ah, uh, she's keep. <laughs> She would skip you like nobody. No, like, like she will hear. She like, would use that as an excuse. No, I don't. Come use on, it I didn't hear you. No, no, no. Like if, if you are saying nonsense or or, <laughs> or something I'm not interested in or something that's going to offend me, I can just literally walk away or just even don't. I won't even look at you to or I won't even pay attention to you. So literally. guys, if you tried to shoot your shoot with her and she walked away, just know she was listening. And then she gave you an excuse later no. on, which I, I didn't hear you. <laughs> no, it's not like that. It's just that sometimes, like, now that I don't have my hearing aids, like, if you don't call me, you'll be there in the background saying something about me, and I won't even hear you, and I really don't mind. You can even gossip about me, and I won't hear you, and that's an advantage. I don't know <laughs> why you wouldn't say hearing tea about yourself is not an advantage. Like, I don't want to know. Okay, so what are the disadvantages? disadvantages yeah going to like public places like then there are people or maybe there's like an announcement and you don't hear clearly and you are not with anyone so you need to ask someone like what did they just say, what did they say? What did and then they you say? can't ask a stranger so you, if you are alone it's basically a disadvantage because mm. you won't even hear the announcement um sometimes guys if you are having a disability, especially if it is one that you don't see on first sight, like hearing, like guys, please just don't put it in your CV. Like, I've put that in my CV so many times and I never got called for an interview or anything until I removed that in my CV. Then I got yeah. called for three job interviews after I removed That's like discrimination then, in another like, level or something. <laughs> like on another no, level. No, but like, no. I didn't know it was so serious. Like, when I stopped doing it, it's when I got called for interviews. Who did, when okay, I who, who, did you no, I just, it on your I just got just tired like, of always sending in CVs and not getting a call. Back. Like, so you said, uh, let me do something let different. Let me change about, like, what can I change about my interview? And then and I removed my hearing. Oh, okay, can you read lips? Uh... Just some people, not everyone. Like my Iwonga. <laughs> my mom's hair sometimes if she doesn't because she doesn't speak like I don't know. Like, most of the time it's Iwonga and my mom. Mm. Mm. And Okay, I feel like this one got we already answered it because I was like, are you still a bill? I don't know. <laughs> I just said, <laughs> <laughs> What's your worst 
experience. My worst experience. Uh. Um my worst experience was basically sitting in a classroom at UNAM and having the lecture basically teach a whole lesson. I couldn't hear anything. And so it's like it's a module. So I would never hear this lecturer. And he would speak so loud, like not loud, he would speak so low. And then you'd be like, say, we can't hear you. And then we would speak up for like three seconds or like three sentences. Then he goes back. Then he goes back to low. So I just stopped attending his classes. And Did you fail? No. His subject. I, I didn't fail the subject, luckily. Okay. Like, I just studied on my own, basically. I've had most experiences. I've had experiences where people are, like, they walk up to me, they say something to me, I didn't hear them, and then they go claim I hate them and then they are angry at me and I just I don't know how to respond to them like I didn't hear you did you call me did you have my attention once I'm looking at you and you know it's always an argument so and the best experience you have had so far I don't know <coughs> you I, like everything else is best like besides that everything yeah. else is good yeah Okay, wait, do you, do you, do you, do you use a hearing aid for both your ears or it's just only one? No, I wear hearing aids in both my ears, but one is worse than the other. I also, I also forgot which one it is, guys. Both my hearing, <laughs> no, like both ears are bad, but one is worse than the other. I don't know which one it was, I think, I think it's this one, but I'm not Why sure. Why are you looking at your hands? I, I don't know. I think, I think it's my right hair, my right ear. But I'm not sure. Okay. Yeah, but one is worse than the other. Did you already tell them what caused your hearing? Yeah, I did, guys. If you haven't watched my video yeah, on so. my previous video, please go check it out. I experience. I, I I got electrocuted, and that's how I lost my hearing. So when you okay, okay, this is the last question, guys. When you found out. That I'm hard of hearing. Yes, yes. that you're hard of hearing. <laughs> How did you react? How did you feel in that moment when the person just came to you and told you about it? How did you feel? How did you react? No, like, okay. I always, I didn't know I was out of hearing, right? Like, I would always, like, experience not being able to hear um, spelling tests or listening comprehensions or, like, people telling me they were speaking to me, but I didn't hear them. So, um, when I found out that I actually had a hearing problem, I didn't feel bad, like, so you're just like I didn't feel like it makes sense. Yeah, no, yeah, I was just like, oh, okay, this is that now I have, why. Yeah, <laughs> and growing up in a family where our grandfather is deaf, yeah. like we had to shout all the time. Like being deaf in our family is kind of normal. We're not gonna say it's a train, but it's, it's not a, like we only have two people. It's just me and my and grandfather. Yeah. So we grew up with our grandfather. So it was normal to it's like, normal like wasn't, this. It wasn't like a bad thing or you knew like you could like i knew it's okay to be deaf like i can still live my whole life but to be honest my... i didn't know he was i just i don't know like, i found out even late like he was actually but did you used to wear a hearing aid How did you i know didn't you? know what that was guys <laughs> i didn't know i just found i just you know it was but just why, a trend people shouting because everyone else <laughs> do it like everyone else does it so it's just like Daddy! You know, <laughs> like when you're speaking to our grandfather, we like, so it's just like, we'll be loud. Daddy! Like, I mean, good luck doesn't even know, but he shouts, come on. But he's young, most such a, Exactly. I don't understand the theory of being. But he just does it because everyone does it, right? Okay, yeah. So that explains why oh, I didn't, didn't know. know. Okay. Because <laughs> good luck would sit there and just, you know, talk a whole story with him, but shouting. Then oh, you're like, okay, yeah, like. <laughs> Okay guys, um, that brings us to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Um, leave a comment down below if you have any other questions and I will answer them. And if you have any video suggestions. And yeah, thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, turn on the bell notification so you get notified every time she posts a, a new, new video, video. And we post every video on a Wednesday. Wednesday. <laughs> like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Wednesday. Okay. <laughs> Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. Bye. Bye. Mwah.